at the core, there is something that they want to keep people away from, a real truth. Back in the early 80s, it was my job to confuse the UFO community. And it was very easy to convince Paul. Paul was a World War II veteran. He's very patriotic. He always flew his flag. Those type of people you can convince that, listen, you can't tell anybody else about this because it's, you know, you're getting in the wrong hands. Would we use perception to help shroud what we're trying to protect? Absolutely. If you've got an aerial platform that is highly advanced and the public who happens to get a glimpse of the thing, if they're convinced that it's from Venus and there's no way it could be our military, well, hey, you know, that's, that's awesome. Hell yes. It's been a cover story in the U.S. for a long time. Tell the media, tell anybody who will listen, that they're using UFOs to cover up advanced technology when the truth is exactly the opposite of the words. We're really a byproduct of extraterrestrial intervention. What if we're their farm animals? What if they eat us psychically? I, I don't know. There's a lot of possibilities here that are not good. Dodie had this wonderful way to sell it. I'm with the government, you cooperate with us, and I'm going to tell you what the government really knows about UFOs deep down in those vaults. I'm going to tell you all kinds of lies. Whatever is going on, it's happening at a government level. Everything that I do is being watched. And I have to assume that I'm being bugged. Let's take one step at a time. You're looking at Richard Doty, the professional disinformer, trained to lie. 